welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to learn about the designing a turing machine to copy string i am your instructor punam patel let's start to understand this concept so you can see over here i have taken a one input string delta a b then number of empty cell i have taken which is denoted by a delta now suppose i want to perform a copy string so what it means so whatever the input is given we just created exact duplicate of that string so you can see over here suppose my input string is delta b a b so here i am going to creating a delta b so this is my original string and this the right side that we have created which is my pasted we can say that this the generated copy string we have generated string same way if my input string is delta double a b so my duplicate string is delta b a b so here you can see that so my input string is delta b a b which is original and my duplicate string uh, which is my copy of this original string is delta b a b so the first is my original string and the second is my paste string so this is meaning of the copy string so we have exactly generate a copy of the input string so how we can generate the copy of input string so you can see over here you can see i have taken the one input string delta a b delta there are number of delta so what we are going to do for doing the copy we are using the empty cell of tab now you can see over here how we can generate the copy so let us consider my input head is uh, right now at the first symbol of my input string which is a a now what we are going to do so turing machine what uh, what uh, so turing machine how will perform this thing so turing machine what what performed so it is replaced uh, first it take the first a so it small a is replaced by a capital a so it knows that i want to first generate it generate the generate the copy of the string one by one character so how you can see over here small a is replaced by a capital a now it move on to the right side and find the empty cell okay so here you can see that so if uh, here you can see over here my tab head is moving to the right side when i reaching at the right end right end of the string i move again to the right end of the string i move my tab head again to the right side so this right side is or right side is containing the empty cell which is denoted by delta now i am starting to paste my pasting my new pasting my duplicate strings okay pasting my uh, pasting my characters so here what i have did so this delta is replaced by a small a because we are reading the symbol a so we need to copy that symbol so first if i read the a i need to copy copy that symbol a again move to the uh, to my tab head to the left side and start to copy the second symbol if it is small b replaced by a another symbol i have taken which is a capital b so here you can see that i have taken a two uh, my input string is containing only two symbols small a and b and for uh, and for this input string and it is replaced by a different character like small a is replaced by a capital a and small b is replaced by capital b so here i have read the b which is a replaced by a capital b okay now i am going to move to the right direction and paste to the b so my third so you can see over here if delta is come delta is come skip all the symbol is skip and the last we have pasted the character and character you have to move to the next delta symbol of this character so my uh, my uh, my input uh, my tab head is pointing to the delta which is replaced by a small b so here you can see that so you can see over here my all character is pasted so my input head is uh, my tab head is moving to the left side if all character are 
uh, all character are pasted so we need to uh, replace all capital letters into my original string so here capital b is replaced by a small b move to the left side capital a is replaced by a small a move to the left side if you are by replacing if you reach at the end if you reach at the uh, delta it means that you have reached at the left end of the string you have to stop over here and just go through the just move to the accepting state now let us take the another example so here we have a b b a our input string and we need to post over here we need to uh, generate the copy of this input string so again first a pick up replaced by a capital a move to the second delta replaced by a small a same now again move to the move tap head to the left side now count the second symbol small b if it is small b replaced by a capital b now move to the right side and fetch this small b so here pick up the third delta replaced by a delta by small b same here move to the tap head to the left side count the third which is replaced by a capital b small b small b is replaced by a capital b now move to the right side and paste this b fourth symbol of delta so here you can see that like fourth delta is replaced by a small b again move to the left side small a is replaced by capital a now move to the right side and replace fifth delta by a so here we can see that here you can see we have a pasted our original string we have generated our copy string so now we have to replace all capital letters into a small letter by moving our tap head to the left direction up left direction okay so capital letter small a capital b by replaced by small b capital b replaced by small b capital a replaced by capital b replaced by small b capital a replaced by a small a now let us understand this logic by using this state transition diagram so here i have taken the one uh, i have taken one input string in my tab in my tab so here you can see over here i have taken the input string small a small b delta so <clears throat> how the copy string is generated and how we design the state transition diagram so same logic i have used which we have discussed in a previous slide so we are right now at the uh, left end of the string so at q0 state what we are going to do we are just reach at the first character of the string so at q0 state is helping to reach the first character of the input string so delta is replaced by a delta move to the right direction now we are at q1 state now q1 state we have started to generate a copy string so first character is read paste the first character second character read paste the second character third character is read paste the third character like this so here we have taken the, we have uh, assumed that our input symbol contain only a b so this transition is diagram are used to generate the uh, copy string which containing the input symbol a b okay so at q1 we are at q1 state now my input symbol is a so here you can see that say that if small a small a is replaced by a capital a so why we are using the different symbol because we can uh, we know that this symbol we are going to uh, copy okay that's why we use the different name so small a is replaced by capital a now move to the right direction so here we are going to move now what we are going to do we have to reach at the right end of the string so whatever the symbol comes during this we have to skip skip means that we have to replace those symbol with the same symbols and move to the right direction so here you can see that a is b is come b is replaced by b move to the right direction now if delta comes it means that we have reached to the right end of the string so we are going to generate a copy string copy string copies copy string it to next of this delta so what we are going to do 
we just leave this delta as it is so delta is replaced by a delta so why we need to do this because it is separating this two strings the original string and the pasted string so this delta is separated between original and pasted string so delta is replaced by a delta move to the right direction now we are uh, we are a uh, generate a copy symbol so which path we have followed so small a is replaced by capital a so here you can see that at qc state said that delta is replaced by a replaced by small a and so this whole task is completed now start to the second round so for the starting second round what we are going to do move our head to the left side okay now at q4 state you can see over here when you are moving when you are moving your head to the left side uh, it may be happen the it may be happen it counts the delta and always remember when you are moving your head to the left side only one delta is come one delta comes so we need to skip over here so that's why we have using uh, transition between this two two state q4 to q5 so here delta is replaced by a delta move to the left side now what we are now we have we need to start a second uh, we need to start a second uh, copy string second round of copy symbol so uh, by moving on the left side the symbol with small a small b comes we need to skip so here if it is small b small b is replaced by small b move to the left side if we reach at the capital letters so if we reach at the capital letters it means that the next symbol we are going to uh, we are going to generate a copy that symbol so what we are going to do so at q5 state is helping to move to helping to reach the next symbol of that capital a so a is replaced by a move to the right direction okay so now we are at q1 state now second round of, second round of copy symbol is uh, copy symbol is started over here at q1 state now it is b so we need to choose a path of b we need to follow the path of b so b if it is b b is replaced by capital b now next is if it is come delta so delta is replaced by a delta move to the left side if small a appears it means that we have already pasted the symbol so we need to skip it so small a is replaced by a small a move my tap head to the right direction if it is delta appears so delta is replaced by a replaced by a small b move to the left hand side so here the second round of so second copy symbol is completed now we are started to the if it is third symbol so we can start the third uh, uh, we can start the third round of copy symbol if it is third symbol is there in the our input string. so moving to the left side if it is small a comes small a is replaced by a small a move to the left side if it is delta so delta at q4 state if it is delta delta is replaced by a delta move to the left side now we are at q5 state now if you see uh, capital B so at Q5 state you can see over here if it is capital B capital B is replaced by a capital B move to the right direction so you can see over here if at Q1 state if delta comes it means that all character are converted into a capital letters it means that parallelly we have generated copy that symbol so that's why at Q1 state we have reached a delta so Q, uh, if Q1 state if your tap head is at delta it means that we have already generated copy that symbol so what we are going to do so our task is remaining we need to uh, transfer this uh, capital letters into a lower case so at q1 state what we are going to do delta is replaced by a delta move to the left side because it contains the capital letters now this q8 state said that all the capital letters is replaced by a their small letters like capital a is replaced by a small a if capital b comes it is replaced by a small b and move to the left side so b capital b is replaced by a small b move to the left side capital a replaced by a small a 
move to the right uh, move to the left side and at q2 state if we uh, reach at the delta it means that our task is completed and we need to move to the halt in accepting state and we need to stop over so i hope this concept is clear to you thank you all Thank you.